Greetings, everyone, from Jerusalem, Israel. We came here a little over, a little less than a week ago, and we came here for one purpose, and God apparently had a different idea, as given the fact that within hours after our arrival, uh, war brought, broke out. And so it's given us an, an, a very interesting perspective on what's been happening from being inside the country that's for such a time as this. The one thing that I wanna emphasize is that what has happened with the people here is that it has united the Israelis in a way that is very unusual and really, I think, supernatural. The country has never been so divided and you're seeing in just an instant how quickly united the country can become. Part of the reason for this is that uh, as an Israeli citizen, Part of your duty is to be in the IDF or being involved in the military in some way. Then, after your active duty, you end up going into the reserves. Well, what's happened is there's over 300,000 reservists over the last week since war bro broke out have been called back into active duty. This really unites the country as a family both in grieving for the things that have happened and in uniting against a common enemy. I feel like that there's a rising in the Messianic community of cooperation, of bringing uh, the Messianics together and the Christian Arabs. And they are caring for one another and they are praying together. In fact, that's what's happening today here. Uh, Christians uh, from across the nations are here praying for Israel. I'm really encouraged to see the response of people in terms of care and in rising up in their authority in Jesus. I, this is an unprecedented uh, opportunity for believers in the land to really shine. There is a real difference in, in the facial expression of those who believe and those who don't. The darkness is getting dar darker, but the light is getting brighter. Um, right now, uh, as an up-to-date, uh, the Israeli Air Force is bombing Gaza and we are contending for the northern borders uh, for no further eruptions on there to restrain the northern borders. So some key prayer points would be, first of all, to pray for the strength of the Messianics in the land and the Christian Arabs, that this is an unprecedented time, like I said, for the church to really, really shine and to restrain the northern borders, um, to restrain the influence. We've had some Syrian rockets come in last night, but to restrain that so that it doesn't spread. Yep, so this is a great time for unity to happen within the believers in Israel and a great time for the nations to come together and join with, uh, you know, Gentiles from the nations, uh, with the um, Israelis in the nation, mm -hmm for um, as a one new man mm -hmm. to come together. And they are, so, they're doing that. Yep, and, and Absolutely. so we just need to pray for those two things, restraint on the Northern borders and for um, unity in the body of believers uh, as never before. Thank you, we love you, we hope to see you soon. You will see us soon.